Unchained, a taste of freedom is taking place on the 28th of July, a brunch that you will never forget. Joining us for a conversation this morning is Chef Daryl Thomas, also known as Chef Tommy, and culinary arts student Tamika Alfonso. Good morning to both of you and welcome. Hi, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Thanks Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you. How are you both doing this morning, Chef Tommy? I'll start with you. Oh, it's great um, coming from Tobago here. So I woke up with some nice sea breeze. So it's great, <laughs> great, great. <laughs> and Tamika, how yeah. are you? I am great this morning. Actually, I'm, on, I'm in Trinidad this morning. We'll be heading to Tobago this weekend from Friday to start preparations for the brunch. Oh, well, we definitely need to get into that conversation about preparations. But before we get into that, Chef Tommy, share with us what the inspiration is behind this brunch and what the preparation has been like thus far. Okay. Um, good morning again to you and your viewers. Um, the preparation for today, um, the brunch on Sunday started about a month ago. Um, it's our culinary class together with the events management class. And they come together, the students themselves, at the end of the, the semester, they're supposed to produce a brunch and also a final dinner. All right. So they have planned everything from scratch. Um, they had to research the different um, countries. And they came up with their own team, which is Taste of Freedom. And from there, when they, they, they did Taste of Freedom, they explored different parts of um, Africa and um, neighboring countries, so they pr produce the menu to the same. Together with a Trinidad and Tobago twist, you know, that we always have that flavor, all right? Um, it was from the costing, the menu production, then they have to compose each one being, um, the menu had was to be tested, being approved, and now we are in the final stage of selling tickets right now, all right? So that's basically where, where, where we are at, at this moment. A lot of so work, that, yeah, a lot a lot of work of has gone in in just Definitely. one month. Tamika, what, what has mm -hmm. prepared Tamika, what was preparation like for you and your fellow students for this brunch coming up on Sunday? So preparation has been complicated sometimes. I would be I would not be telling the truth if I said it's easy. It is not. Um, it takes a lot of strategic planning. It takes a lot of thinking. It takes creativity. It takes thinking outside of the box because um, THDI, as a culinary student in THDI, we are custom hosting events. And you never, we never want this the present event to be like the last event. We don't want to be repeating the same things over and over. So it takes a lot of thinking and planning and brainstorming and collaborating and trying to do something that is different, but also promoting our school because we want more students that attend. We want to put on a good event. We want to promote Tobago as well. So it has been easier sometimes, but challenging most times. And from what you say there, one can only begin to imagine. Chef Tommy, what signature dishes can we look forward to at this event? And where are we going? What countries are we going to be visiting via food? Um, basically, we're doing um, South Africa, Morocco, um, Kenya, and also Ghana, right? But all with the local twists. So come on the 28th of uh, July. When you when you come to your palate, it's going to be it's going to be an experience because we want to carry you to that place, right? The students have worked real hard and we have put together a um, compiled menu. And it's not going to be a little brunch. When you come, you, you will get your belly full, right? Um, there's food, there's an omelet station. We, we still have the little tradition that you know that when you come to a brunch, so you will have that, you will have a healthy section where, have you ever tried a chakalaka salad or uh, and chakalaka dressing? You have to come on down to witness and taste that flavor. 
<laughs> it definitely sounds enticing, that is for sure. Now, you mentioned something classic such as the omelette station, and we see that marriage of different cultures when it comes to the food. Are there going to be any other special, perhaps, techniques or, or dishes on display that will really just wrap the entire experience significantly for the attendees? Yes, indeed. Um, we have something called a chapachi bread, which is an unleavened flat bread, which is basically a Kenyan bread, mostly used um, in the eastern part of Africa, right? Um, so that bread will go with some um, local jams. So we are making some guava jam, we are making some other thing, and um, it would also be served with bacon butter. So that, that alone is a highlight by itself. The bread display would come with our local, uh, we'll also have fry bake, you know, soft bread. For those who are not too much into the uh, exam, trying out their palate, we have something to please everybody at that point in time. We also have a section where we're doing um, jollof rice, and then we're doing uh, Moroccan stew chicken, right? This is consists of peanut butter and stuff. So it's an interesting thing for your um, your palate. And uh, what once I once I say it, I'm telling you, the experience is going to blow you. And um, the the events class has planned out everything to the T, where we have um, the, the the presentations, the workspace. There's a lot of things to see and do while you are, are there. It sounds like a beautiful culinary journey and experience. Tamika, where can we get more information about the brunch on Sunday? Um, where can we get tickets? Tell us everything that we need to know. Everything that you the tickets will be available at THDI campus. You can also have, um, you can also get information if you call the THDI um, phone number. You can visit the campus and air all the information you need considering the brunch will be available at student services. In addition to that, there is numbers on the flyers and there sorry, there is numbers on the flyers. Okay. Um there is br this brunch is going to be one that is different from any other. Everything yes. has been planned to the T. There is going to be... Every, you will be in Africa the moment you step step on campus. You will The moment you reach the top of the restaurant, you will be in Africa. You will experience Africa from a different standpoint because not only would you have the taste of Africa with the culinary experience, but also there will be drums and dancing and artifacts and everything you can think about to make you have that African experience, that emancipated experience, that liberated feeling, and the feeling of being unchained, set free, will be happening at THD. Excellent. Tickets will be available by a phone call away. All you have to do is call THDI and your tickets could even be delivered to you. Excellent. Well, Tamika Alfonso and Chef Tommy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All the best this coming Sunday and looking forward to more culinary experiences coming out of THTI. Have an excellent day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Unchained a Taste of Freedom is happening this weekend. You don't want to miss it. And stay tuned. There's more coming up on the Now Morning Show after this short break. Give me the island breeze, cool them vibes, coconut jelly, peas and rice.